everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 4. In the last episode, well, we finally, we made our arrival at this wonderful, very calming, very pleasing little uh, village. And come to find out, um, it's not so calm and it's not so pleasing because a lot of people are there, they really want to kill us. And we have to save the president's daughter because it is the right thing to do. We also encountered a pretty cool cat by the name of Louis. Uh, he seems pretty smooth, good with the ladies, but we're going to go ahead and continue because the big cheese guy caught us last episode, and now we're going to see what's going to happen with that. So let's begin the episode right now. Loading. All right. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. I don't, I don't want your gift. I don't, I don't like ecstasy. Ugh. this intoxicating power. <clears throat> oh! Isn't that the worst? You get knocked out and then you get something put inside of you. Story of my life. Hey. Hey, wake up. Uh, Two handsome fellows. Yeah. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? How about a little explanation? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter. A little too good for a That's guess. Too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. <laughs> Lewis is so nah, smooth. I'm just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking uh -oh. something about the president's daughter in the church. No, you got to go the other way, pal. Dark Souls is on the left. Ooh. He really got a bad case Who of pink eye. You be. Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good for nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? <laughs> Aren't all Latin <laughs> awesome see, dudes uh, good with the ladies? Your life I, the I line, feel like that's like written in their contract when they sign up for it. Life. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. He certainly knows a lot. Ah! Hey, buddy. Uh, uh, I don't know you like that. Do something, cop. I'm tied to you. Ah! Oh no! Just do it, Nike. It kills guys. Why not? Where, where, where are you going, Louis? Oh, I thought I made a friend. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, ah! right? I'm fine. Those Away with the words, Leon. Captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No, but apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. All right, so we got a clue. Ooh, bullets. Well, while I'm here, might as well... Reload my stack. There we go. Looks good, looks good, looks good. All right. Take my pistola and let's go get up. Let's get on here. Ha <laughs> oh, it's the merchant. Quite possibly the best reason why Resident Evil 4 is so memorable. It's because of the little old merchant right there. He's just, he's got away with words. What do you got for me, man? 
got something that might interest you. <laughs> got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. I mean, I really don't need to buy anything, but I just want to hear this. What are you buying? <laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> what are you selling? Uh, let me sell him something, just so I can go. Ah. Ah. I'll buy it at a high price. You got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's really all what I need. All my guns are upgraded. Thanks, merchant. Here's a fun little fact, though, uh, about uh, the merchant in this game. If you guys actually take it upon yourselves and do the evil thing and kill the merchant, because you can actually kill the merchant, if you do, the spot right here where he is, uh, he won't show up anymore. He'll actually be gone from that spot, and he will never show up in that spot at all for the rest of the game. So, if you want to be a little, little crazy crew, and try to kill the merchant, and then he was like, oh man, I really need some, like, you know, bullets or healing items. He'll be gone and you can't do it. It's basically the game saying, don't be a douche. Kill the, kill the, kill the zombie dudes, not the, not the merchant. Alright, so, let's, let's do a little bit of duck shooting. Here we go. Smile! I don't think anybody heard that, right? <laughs> it's still funny. <laughs> All right. Hey, you. Happy birthday. <laughs> it's not my birthday. <laughs> Hello, handsome. Hey, where are you going? Oh. oh. Would you like to be shot in the face? Not really. Well, too bad. Ooh. I meant I meant face. Uh, I didn't man. I didn't expect to get a little head pop right there. Oh well. And you, just a flesh wound. He'll be all right. Okay. Um. Let's see. I don't think there's any more. All right. Let's progress. Let me switch to my pistola. Here we go. God dang it. There you go. <laughs> Dang it. Whoa! <laughs> you can't be sneaking up on people like that, man. You're gonna make them have luggage in the trunk. And by luggage in the trunk, I mean, well, you know what I mean. Now they're throwing dynamite at me? Don't throw dynamite at me. That's not nice. Huh. No. Not the stupid map. Whoa! Well, that worked. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I need to switch to my machine gun. And instead, he was just like, I'm just gonna hold this lit piece of dynamite until it explodes. No one said that these villagers were very smart. But hey, sometimes they work into your. Bullets, bullets, money. Right. Let's see. Uh, aha! Don't stand near the edge of the ladder. You're gonna fall. I told you. Brrrah. <laughs> I just gave him a couple of pokes and he's like, ah! Stop! Ah! Hey! That's not allowed. Well, don't hold explosive, and that won't happen to you. Ow, my arm! <laughs> well, that worked. Okay, now to do what I'm actually here for. I need to collect two pieces of, uh, like, an amulet type thing to open the door. So let's find those things and be on our way. Ooh, shotgun ammo. Good. Some ammo for my pistola. Uh, ah, there we go. Climbing up. Here it is. Okay, just need one more and we're good to go. Uh, 
I think it's at the top. Yeah. So to the top. Here we go. So while I'm doing this, uh, let me give you guys a little trivia, a little, little, little knowledge, a little facts about the Resident Evil 4. Um, for those of you who don't know or probably haven't really done any research on it, actually, um, Resident Evil 4 was originally the groundwork for Devil May Cry. Would you guys believe that if I told you that? It's true. It was originally, the, this was the ground, like the way this was laid out was originally not how this was originally supposed to look. This game was supposed to be played kind of like Devil May Cry was. Like, you know, like hack and slashy action games. I could have my, I could have my facts messed up. And if I do, someone please correct me. But yeah, it's like, it's somewhere in there that they're connected in, in a way where, like I believe it was Resident Evil 4 was supposed to be Devil May Cry or Devil May Cry was supposed to be Resident Evil 4. Because if you look at the early, um, early trailers and like early like uh, just uh, gameplay shots of this game, it looks really different. It looks kind of like the old Resident Evils, where it's just like fixed camera, closed quarters, and everything like that. And and I guess during the like development process, they decided to change it into a completely different game. And by doing so, they came out with this, and this was the game that we got. But they liked so much what they were doing with the original format, they decided to use it and change it into something else, and that's how we got Devil May Cry. So, there you go. And that's why the guys uh, that are at Platinum are the originators of DMC, Devil May Cry. Don't throw axes at people, that's mean. I will say this, it's kind of like a cheating advantage if you know a little bit of Spanish then you can kind of cheat in this game a little bit because I've learned that when the when the they like the trust at the imbecile they actually say I'm behind you imbecile and <laughs> and then when they say oh god oh no that means um Jesus what does it mean uh it means grab uh get him there you go see I don't know what umpulastero means, but I know I know a little bit of the espanol, espanol, not spinal, spanol. I do I do know a little bit of it. So, uh, and I know. Oh God! Who puts a bear trap there? There's no need for a bear trap. There's no bears. This isn't the revenant. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> He's like, oh, you hit me with the oh. Whoa! Don't do that. That's me. I'll take your money, though. Uh, what's a, what's another thing that they say? Um, Ahí está. He's like he's over there. Um, Agarralo. That means get him. I think I said that already. There you go. That's your that's your Spanish lesson for the day. Español. <laughs> okay. And there we go. And birds on accident on accident I didn't mean to you know what I just realized I completely forgot how to do it um, at the beginning of the game there's actually a dog in a bear trap and if you free the dog in the bear trap he actually helps you out during a boss fight and I completely forgot to do that so there will be no pooch in this playthrough of RE4 so that kind of sucks but it's okay it's okay this creepy house doesn't look inconspicuous Let's go inside. Maybe there's a bedroom? Uh, perhaps there's a bedroom? Hello? Ah. It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Which way will you turn it? Uh, left. No. Right. Up. 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 No, no, no. Down. Down. Oodle around. Sugar, we're going down. It's like one of the easiest puzzles in the game. I don't know why I made it more difficult than it needed to be. Ooh. See something shiny? Pick it up. You got the insignia key. All right. Hmm. Ooh, a closet. Perhaps there's money? Yes, of course there's money. Okay. Uh, ooh. It's just a, it says a bookshelf. Nothing conspicuous here. Let's see. Hmm. 
I'm so handsome. Ah, oh, there's the big cheese again. He seems like a comp- I don't know you like that. That's bad touch. You should really get that looked at. You carry the same blood as us, it seems. Oh. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. Ooh, he has got some gross looking skin. What? Same blood. Same blood? I don't even know Spanish that well. Well, I guess this is a good spot to call it. And in the next one, we're going to head... It looks like we're heading to a church and a graveyard. Will we find the president's daughter? I don't know. Will we, will we continue to question our abilities as a hero? Probably. But in the next one, guys, we're going to head to the graveyard, head to the church. Maybe we'll find the president's daughter. I don't know. But until then, guys, remember, this was Resident Evil 4. I've been Benchez. I love all your faces. See you next time. See you later.